Texas. Well, it has been an interesting couple of weeks for commodities. Gold is on pace for its first yearly decline in 13 years as investors wait to find out more about Fed tapering. And oil prices, which had been on a tear, edging closer to 110 a barrel, are also on the decline the past couple of days after tensions over Syria appeared to ease for the near term. So what is the best way to play it all out? Well, of course, we had to bring in Jim Rogers. He's a legendary investor in this realm. Please, oh, you stop, love stop it. Dad, stop, stop, please, stop. stop. Uh, you see what's happened with gold. Look, all good things come to an end. Do they not? I mean, 13-year run-up in gold. Does this it surprise you? you? I've told you before, gold was up 12 years in a row. That's an anomaly. That's very strange. I know nothing. It was up 12. It's having a rest. It needs a rest. I wouldn't be surprised if it didn't rest for a year or two. Would you buy it here, though? I'm not buying it here, but I'm not as smart hey, there, as you. There's Watch your Fox banner. Business. He's Watch not Fox Business. buying gold right now. <laughs> wait a minute. Now. Wait a minute. We, we just missed him on air saying Watch Fox Business. You can say that again. What should Watch we Fox Business to find out when to buy it. If it goes down under 1,000, I hope to buy a lot. I hope I'm smart enough to buy a lot. But, and it could go down. That's but that's only, your level, sub 1,000. That's only a 50% correction. 50% corrections are normal. The question is, markets. though, are you selling? No, no, no. This? I've never sold an ounce of gold. Never an ounce of gold or an ounce of silver. It's going to be for my kids. Unless there's a, a bubble, then it's for my kids. So, obviously, you're not looking short-term, then. You, are a long -term, uh, you have a long-term interest in commodities. But were you playing it as a result of what was happening with the tensions in Syria? I mean, would you, no, would no, you no. buy... No. no, no, no. That's, that's too short that's term. Too for short you. term. Well, I mean, if World War III breaks out, that's not short well, term. Well, the, the, the problem with Syria, though, and this is what concerned a lot of people about us getting involved there, is that there's no way of telling what the ramifications might have been. For example, Iran has obviously great interest in, in Assad remaining in power in Syria. Uh, Assad provides Iran with an entry into Lebanon and all kinds of things. So. If it, if it spills over into our relations with Iran, maybe gives them an idea that they can go ahead with their nuclear program, might that be a buy signal? Well, if there's World War III and Mr. Obama seems to want to go to war, he seems desperate to go to war, that's going to make gold go through the roof. It's going to make all commodities go through the roof. Now, I don't own commodities because Mr. Obama wants to go to war. Well, can I just jump in there? Because we, he sent Mr. Kerry, our Secretary of State, to meet with the Foreign Minister of Russia and Sergei Lebov, and, and they seem to have come up with a deal to stave off war. Y yes, yes, I know. But a week before, he said, I don't care what Congress says. So what do if you I buy bomb in this these atmosphere? Guys, I'm going to bomb them. What do you buy in this atmosphere? What commodity do you like right now? Agriculture. Buy Brains? sugar. Buy sugar. Sugar. Go home. If you go to a restaurant tonight and there's sugar on the Steal table, it. put it in your pocket because oh it's free and it's going to go. Sugar high. has come down enormously. What about seventy-five percent below its all-time high? So, so is this just a temporary? I mean, obviously, commodities are a very scary thing to play. It takes a lot of a few people like Jim Rogers to play the commodities game. Is this going to change quickly? Well, the deal I, I on hope sugar. so. I'm buying sugar. I, you know, when you buy it, you hope it goes up that day. I'm buying sugar as we speak. So I have no idea when it's going to go up. It may go down. Do you buy it raw? Do you buy the ETF? How do you, you Jimmy Rogers, purchase sugar? I, I buy sugar itself. I have some right here in my pocket. <laughs> you know, I, I, I was at lunch today. I you got stole mine. it. Come on. I got mine. I stole it. <laughs> it's on the table for free. Um, and I buy sugar companies as well, companies which produce sugar. By the way, you're a good Scotsman. I take sugar when I'm at a restaurant, too, every, every single time. Uh, the, the, the question, though, is where is the whole world economy going? You live in Singapore half time. You know very well exactly what's going on in Asia there. there is is Asia growing? Has its, its, its slowing up in growth stopped? And is it back up on the incline? And does that change your investment decisions? There is an artificial sea of liquidity right now. America, Japan, Europe, England are all printing money as fast as they can to debase their currencies. This is an artificial liquidity boom that we're having. The people who are getting the money are very happy. The people are not getting the money, you and I and the rest of us, where this, this is all going to end very badly because it's going How? to end. How will it end? It will, it will eventually. The market's either going to say, we're not going to take your garbage paper anymore, or they're going to come to their senses, stop printing money, and then... Don't worry, you're going to have a job because somebody has to report the chaos. <laughs> the drama. That's good to somebody know. has to report all this. Currencies at all, Jimmy? Any currencies interest you? Uh, uh, yeah, well, the, the, the Chinese renminbi, yes. 
but you can't just pick up the phone and buy the renminbi. I actually own the U.S. dollar as we speak because I consider that there's going to be a lot of turmoil coming. Mm -hmm. People think they think it's not my flight to quality, but other people think it's a safe haven. So why not own, play the tape? That's what I. That's. I don't like defending that, but that's what I'm doing. By the way, the last time you were here, you were big on on Russia. Uh, I don't know if you were playing the ruble, but you were at least believed that Russia had turned around and, and was doing more sensible things with regard to... That's China. exactly right. Has it, has it stayed uh, steady on that course? It's even gotten better. I have not really bought much since then because I'm too lazy. I haven't gotten to it. But you, maybe I should watch Fox Business and I would get some, some Russian tips. Yes, you would. Some Russian things to buy and then I would buy Russia, yes. But you have bought something in Russia. Oh, well, yeah. What, yeah, what, yeah, what kind of ETFs, investments? ETFs. ETFs. Yeah, ETFs. I don't want to buy the oil and gas plays because I own enough oil and gas. I'm looking for real com other kinds of companies in Russia. If you know any, let me know. Okay. <laughs> Sugar. I'll All right. My... That's the message we're getting today. Sugar in Russia. To, go to the restaurant tonight. There'll be one more left. Oh my goodness. <laughs> It wasn't for nothing that Russia was subsidizing Cuba. It was all for the sugar, wasn't it? It was for the <laughs> sugar. And by the way, they're subsidizing uh, uh, Syria because they don't want the gas pipeline right. to go to Europe because it would compete with them. Bingo. But, they, but also, they also want those ports. And they also want the ports. Yeah, there are lots of reasons. Good to see you, Jim. Likewise. Nice to see Terrific. you guys. See Good you again. Stuff. Good Good stuff. Stuff.